Oh my god, have you guys ever seen what Evo wheels look like on a 240? There it is. Looks absolutely awful. So I got some new wheels. I uh, just traded the works that I had on the car. And uh, yeah, these are 18s. So I get to use my Federal RSRRs that are on the front porch. Even though these have brand new Yokohama Advans on them. But yeah, damn dude. I think they look good, to be honest. And they got some really tight fitment. I have to, I have to do some little modifying to the coil over just a little bit to make them work. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then we are going to look at that thing right there. You already know what it is. Yes. Okay, so I had to do a small tiny bit of grinding on the coilover, but it was not that much. It's just so I can make the tires not touch. They, it was probably about a millimeter worth of uh, touching, so it was not that much. But the rears will go on perfectly fine. Totally lost track of time, didn't set the camera up to film it, but that's fine. I didn't need you guys seeing me film me destroy my car, so. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna slap these ones on. Get that ugly thing off. So I got one more. The other side's on the ground, unfortunately, so I'm gonna drop the car and we're gonna see what it looks like. Oh, okay. That looks really good. Suppose there could be a little more poke, but the fitment's nice. I can't remember if I said it in the last videos or not, but my rear end likes to get crazy whenever I go to a second gear and start to wheel spin. So, since I can't see anything, I'm going to sit you guys right here, and you guys are going to watch for me, because I can't do things, because I only have two eyes. Oh my god, that moved a shit ton. All right, so <laughs> that's on the agenda. Anyways, as planned, I'm gonna drop the up frame and put poly bushings in, and I'm not excited for that. That's like the one thing that I'm not excited to do, so yeah. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, on to the next thing. BAM! Oh yes. Starting to feel more like my car, not somebody else's. I need to take that off. Alright. Next thing. And that is... ECU Master. Let's do it! Alright. Got a huge mess in my floorboard. I don't know what the hell to do with the fuse box, and that's like the weirdest place I've ever seen when relocated. All right, so I have a base map that I had pre-made already, so I'm gonna go through and make sure everything is sort of decent. So it's a PWN idle valve, and it's like 120 hertz. So we'll go with that. Flash, and check it out and see what happens. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's pretty good for a first try. So, let's see what the wideband says when it finally gets warmed up. All right. 11's warming up. Oil 
pressure could be better, but I believe we are idling at 800. I think that's pretty close. Fucking 300 CX. God damn. So now that I know that the car runs and it's on the stock everything, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking everything apart. I'm gonna attempt to take off the manifold and get everything taken off today. I really would like to have everything done today, but I mean, it's honestly probably not gonna happen. So let's just jump right into it and see what we can do. So first things first, I'm gonna start taking all the couplers off. I'm gonna pull vacuum lines, start pulling pipes. I'm gonna hit the manifold bolts and nuts and whatnot with some PB blaster and hopefully they'll just come right off and I won't have to fight it. Okay, so I go under the car and remove the down pipe. Not excited. I'm gonna make this video multiple parts. It's gonna take a little bit longer than anybody would, you know, think it would take to pull a stock manifold. All the rusty nuts and crap that goes with it. So far, I've got the down pipe disconnected. I've got the intake side for the turbos removed. And all I've got to do is disconnect the turbos from the manifolds, and I should be able to get the manifolds off, no problem. 